Take one. Mark it. Hi. I'm Jeff Tenner, executive chef at Bertucci's, and today we're gonna to spend some time with our friends at Sam Adams. We have five different pizzas to taste and pair it with five different craft beers. So starting in front of Jen, we have a roasted mushroom, Asiago, and sage pizza. This dough is made with uh, barley, rye, whole wheat, uh, and white flour, and then has ground flaxseed and a little honey in it. Really portobello good. mushrooms are really earthy. But it's balanced by some of that sweetness in the dough, I think, when you're talking about how it has some honey in it. This is the one with all the, the different grains in the crust. Yeah. yeah, you can definitely nuttiness. So when you think about flavors like that, nutty, earthy, a little of that sweetness, what's your instinct for a pairing? I think the stout is a perfect pairing, actually, because you're gonna get some, some real nice roasty notes as well that will complement the flavors. I think the textures work together, too, the creamy mouthfeel of the stout. I think goes really nicely with the cheese. Yeah, I, I, what I just found, they really ran nicely parallel, complement each other's yeah. flavors, but similar intensity. That's definitely what we're looking for too. You, know, you want something that doesn't overpower the food, the food doesn't overpower the beer, you want them to work together. Okay, now we're gonna taste the roasted butternut squash, blue cheese, and candied walnut pizza. It's a really great combination of flavors for fall. It's so good. I, I, I love the flavors, the butternut squash. I would never thought to put on a pizza. Ever. It's a little unexpected. Uh. I really like butternut squash, so to have it in pizza form <laughs> kind of makes me smile. I've had people try this who don't like butternut squash. The pairing of the blue cheese and the, and the walnut, they were surprised. That's sweet and savory a little bit, yeah. um, but the dough brings it all together. So from a beer style for a pairing, what, what do you picture, well, what's your instinct? This is the Irish Red. I think they're gonna go really well together, but let's, let's try it. I really like the uh, sweetness from the candy walnut against the earthiness of the Irish Red. Hmm. It finishes with a little roasty character, which is kind of nice, because that blue cheese is intensive and tangy. Yeah, you know, generally people think of food and wine pairings, and we have it right here in pizza and beer. Now we're gonna try a pizza that is one of my favorites. It's roasted red potato with bacon and fresh oregano. I got some nice spice off the crushed red pepper. Towards too. the end, yeah, mm -hmm. it kind of sneaks up on you. The oregano's nice as well. Fresh oregano, really nice, fresh herbs. So even though it sounds like a simple pizza of potato and bacon, there's some great layers of flavor. Chef, you, you had me at bacon. Anytime <laughs> you put bacon on pizza, I, I'm gonna like it. What do you picture beer-wise? What's, what's coming to mind? Boston Ale, a very traditional New England style ale. It's a stock ale and it complements everything on this. The red pepper Does. flakes, they, they, they really linger and this beer kind of cuts through that um, quite nicely. This pizza really brought out some of that fruity estuary ale notes, which I love about this beer. Right, I wasn't getting that before and then as soon as you said it, it's more evident. I love the Boston Ale. It's the second beer that Jim ever made and it's a traditional stock ale, but you'll get some bright citrusy notes and I think that's what's really nice about it, pairing with the pizza. I feel like it's a hidden gem, a little lesser known. The roasted potatoes, smoked bacon, fresh oregano with the Boston Ale, excellent pairing for this fall. Now we're gonna try one of my favorites, which is the spicy salami pizza. A lot of flavor going on here. So you get these layers of spice and savory flares. It's, re it's really a great pizza. The spicy pickled cherry peppers, they, they bring a little heat, but there's a, a little bit of a, a tang in there as well. Well, then the provolone's a nice complement to the spice, so it's not too much, it's not overwhelming. You need something big to go with it. Yeah, yeah I was gonna so say, not my area of expertise, but I'm thinking this is gonna require something that has a little, well, little punch to it. With spicy foods, you want a beer that has uh, a lot of character, in, and an IPA is perfect. This is our Latitude 48. Latitude 48 refers to the hop growing belt, and that's, that's where hops grow best. And we use hops from uh, all the regions. We use them from um, England and Germany and the United States in this beer. Okay, I think I just found a personal favorite. When you get big citrus notes from the American hop, and that citrus pairs really nice with the spice. I think what's nice is you have all these flavors with the pizza, but you also get all those with the hops. Yeah, it's nice to see these two big, bold flavors really holding up on their own. They stay nice and bold alongside one another. OK, 
Okay, we've talked a lot about innovation today, but sometimes it's important to talk about tradition. So I brought what we call the Bertucci, which is really a pepperoni pizza. It's our handmade dough, real thin crust, baked in the brick oven. Okay, so something we can have is an everyday beer, but a great handcrafted beer. What do you think? This is, uh, we have a Bertucci's near my house, and uh, this is the pizza that my daughter loves, but I always have Boston Lager with it. It's a great pairing. I, I, I don't even have to taste it, I know. Yeah. One thing that comes to mind with this pizza is that it's really harmonious, the flavors, it's balanced, so you have a little spicy, but it's not overwhelming. And this beer is all about balance. This, this beer is really um, one of the most perfectly balanced beers I've ever had. So another thing I really like about this pairing is it's a very approachable, match for folks who are new to flavor pairing. And if you can go back and forth and really get the flavors, um, I think this is a great way to just start doing that and really understanding the flavors and the compliments that they give each other. I'm really happy we landed on two signatures from, our, from both of our companies. So I'm really proud of all the work we did. I think these pairings are excellent. Um, I look forward to all our guests enjoying it and us celebrating together. So. Cheers.